Namaste friends, welcome to Art and Tarot. In this episode of Tarot Talk, we will be talking to Shipra Datta. She is a born leader, vivacious and full of life, who believes in living life king size. She is an architect and an infrastructure consultant and heads the business unit for urban and industrial development at Prodic, one of the leading engineering consultants in India. In this civil industry led by men, she enjoys being the female leader and is leading a team of about 95 engineers, architects and planners and implementing a few smart cities as well. She loves her power position and says that it gives her much kick. Although the corporate life sucks as a single mother for the past 15 years, her most immense happiness was when her son insisted and adopted her maiden surname. She says life was not easy for her as a single mom but her faith and belief never tethered her. She dots on her son and, and is very close to her parents and sibling. She draws her strength from them. Her father is her hero and she gets her never die spirit from him. She has been a panelist and guest speaker at many public forums and in, enjoys mentoring young engineers, managers. Fiercely independent and upfront, she does not like mincing her words. She is very passionate about dancing and music and has won many awards since her school days. So it's a big introduction. Let me just welcome Shipra Datta. Now I can. Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> what happened really? What was the issue? I am so sorry, Siddharth, for all this go up. <laughs> I'm so not tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Finally, we all can see you. Yeah. Okay. The I'm glad. Audience can see you. Now they will start uh, coming up. For slowly, slowly. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Okay. Siddharth. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. So you're an architect. And as, I like, know. read your, uh, you know, introduction. And I guess this was the long- longest introduction I've read for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. You have done so much, I guess, huh? <laughs> there is so much to no. <laughs> do, yeah. There is, I think, maybe just a wee bit that I have tried. So much to do more. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, but when I see you, you are so full of life, vibrant, and a complete woman. What's your secret? <laughs> mm. I think um, uh, I believe that uh, whatever comes to you, just accept and play play the day as it comes. So probably that has been my secret. I have a very short-term memory, selective short-term memory, I would say. So that kind of keeps me going. So okay. every day is a new beginning. I believe in that. And... Uh, if you keep a positive outlook towards life and if you enjoy being happy, I think you've got the secret. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you are an architect and infrastructure consultant. Tell us about your journey into, into your career. Uh, so it's been, uh, Siddharth, it's been 20 years that I have been into this industry now. I started as a small architect, you know, who who was uh, my first boss. He taught me architect Abhijit Re. He taught me, he would hold my hand and he would say, oh, ye aise nahi hota hai, Bengali architect, you know, how particular they are about all those uh, technical nuances. And then he would say, aise tum kabhi nahi sikhega. He would take me to <laughs> site. And uh, so the very second day of my job, he sent me to site, industrial site, Minda Industries. And such a huge sight, I was completely lost. But I think he pushed me into it and I learned how to swim. So from there, I joined a, a developer. I worked for them. I was project architect for uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, township, hill township project in Nanital near Mukteshwar. It's called Cloud Nine. So Mahabi, I was totally lost. Because, you know, when you're doing things on the paper on plain land, it's very simple. You know, you can do, you've taught in architecture college how to handle all this. And that's what I have been a good student. I knew how, I knew my job. But then when I was taken to this Nanital site, Mukteshwar site, 
I was totally lost. This engineer takes me to site and he says, "Ma'am, uh, this is your site." So, ये जो hundred acres था, that was spread over hills. I was like, "How do I bring that that down to my paper? Hundred acres?" And I was like, "Damn, I, I'm going back. I can't handle this." And then I was like, uh, uh, "Nahi, babe, you got to give it before <laughs> saying no." <laughs> Uh, so that was what my uh, dad has always taught me: never to give up. So I stayed for four days. I said, "Four days, I'm trying to do it." Then I see if it will happen, then it's okay. If not, Tata, bye bye. Uh, after fourth day, I knew where to draw. Where to draw? That start point. I knew where to draw. Where to draw? 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 with no experience at all of the hills and then i moved to infrastructure and uh, again it's a civil industry is a man's world totally you will hardly see women there yes so i rose up and i have been super ambitious i like like power chair i like to drive <laughs> i like to lead at the risk of sounding arrogant yeah <laughs> i don't want to sound arrogant but then uh, now i am uh, heading business unit of urban development with one of the leading infrastructure consultant and we're doing smart cities and a couple of uh, niche building projects which is museum complex and uh, there are some integrated infrastructure projects we're doing the signature projects of government of india mostly government projects we do yeah mm -hmm. so from from there to here i think it's been quite a journey lot of learning i'm still learning my juniors teach me my peers teach me my seniors teach me even a laborer at the site teaches me so <laughs> they all have so no matter i'm blessed how big the project is it will not matter now i guess you are ready for anything not even remotely ready for anything ready to take up any challenge which ever comes my way yeah so, <laughs> that's good and, <laughs> and luckily siddharth i have realized that if you believe in yourself Mm. uh you will see things will are just falling into place god is walking with you i have realized that god is walking with me there have been cases where uh, moments where i felt oh the door is completely shut mm. and suddenly i wake up and i see it's open i mean it was always there the solution mm. was there i just needed to open my eyes and yes. that's all so yeah i guess you know this is something mm. which uh, which uh, everyone uh, should be able to see that you know like once they actually mm. desire something once they start wow. living that all those mm -hmm. manifestations will start happening inside of them so i guess it's just yeah. about starting to desire first i guess and having this clarity of what you want you know yeah absolutely yeah thank god yeah yeah so mm. okay let's move forward um mm -hmm. we know about your career and like you are very passionate mm. about it but what are your other yeah. passions you which you love i i, I know live into dancing also <laughs> <laughs> yes acha uh, uh, sorry about the background noise i am at the site currently that's so, okay uh, that's, that's so okay. just it part. is going to give okay, us a so feel of the you know what you are <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so uh, i think i'm passionate about life i'm passionate about people people around me i think life would not be life if you did not have people around you know you learn from each of them i'm passionate about song music dance you know dance music ki sunkar i can't stay still wo kuch ho jata hai andar se what's your favorite uh, song whether it's you 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 love uh, like mostly you sing hindi or you also sing hindi hindi i love bollywood totally a filmy person i think totally Achha. bollywood dreamy <laughs> ha ha <laughs> and of course i like shakira who doesn't like shakira so um, yeah any <laughs> any dance numbers i mean mai ghar mein enter karti hu office se and my music wo uh, switch on karti hu and that's like on i wake nice. up with music i sleep with music so music is my blood <laughs> yeah that gives you a go yeah absolutely so you love traveling and of course because of yeah. your work you have to travel places yeah which is your favorite destination mm prague i would say prague is one of my favorite uh the other favorite is um jaipur 
Jaipur is Jaipur because of the vibrant color and uh, the architecture of palaces, all those uh, details. Then, of course, Pondicherry, Oroville, okay. okay. Oroville. So these are some of my Greece is another Greece, favorite huh? of mine. Greece is for its architecture. Greece because of its architecture, yeah. Because of its architecture, because of its uh, the history behind uh, the Colosseum. I guess Pondicherry yeah. is all uh, French. Uh, it's all French, French yeah. colonies. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's the architecture, cool. culture is very different. Very you you feel uh, that's the place where anybody with a free spirit would want to be. Mm. So mm. yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and then uh, Scotland too. Scotland. I really like mostly uh -huh. architecture-based places. Just the history, hoti hai na. They really attract me. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, so not mm -hmm. Paris. Paris is okay. I mean, I enjoy Paris, but uh, my favorite. This is not one of my favorite. It's just okay. I think entire Europe is beautiful, yeah. so you will enjoy. Um, in fact, there is a place between Austria and Czech Republic. It's called Czechy Krumlov. It's a small hill town, and um, you know it's mostly. Primarily pedestrianized, and it's as if an artist has painted everything, every house, every window, every wow. shop is painted. Beautiful. And uh, people don't use motor vehicles much; they walk, and yeah. uh, and there's a little nice. tucked away nooks and corners, artistic nooks and corners. Um, nice. So that's also one of my favorite. Something new we came to know today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Hmm. So, um, hmm. you're also a mentor and have been helping people. Uh, what yes, message would you like to give it to the audience about you, about your life, about your passion? Like, what, what, one message if you want to give it to them? You know, what that. Be? I would just say, um, be yourself, whatever yeah. it is, good, bad, ugly. Just be yourself. Be true. Be real. and uh, because as it is there are so many made up things across all over so just yeah. be real and be happy with what you are you are do not compete with others you know why we are all so stressed out or uh, you know worked up at work or wherever we are competing constantly ye mujhse acha hai i need to do better than this person no i mean you do better than yourself every day improve yourself so work on yourself rather than working on All these external things. So that is my message to all. And be happy. Come what may. There is nothing that you cannot do. I, I believe it's all in there. You know, God also gives you problems which He thinks you can handle. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so what what is, you what, what you message. are capable of? You are only given that. And yeah, uh, yeah. I totally Absolutely. agree with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah. i would also like to know about your mm. you know spiritual side you know like how do you connect to yourself you know do you meditate do you like what things you do to keep yourself calm and relaxed and be peaceful okay so i think dance is a form of meditation for me uh okay so whenever i am depressed or upset i dance when i'm happy i dance uh, and when i dance i feel you know there is a connection with god i don't believe in uh, murti vagera mein mujhe believe nahi i'm not religious but i'm very very spiritual i believe that uh, when i'm dancing i am connected with my inner self you know and i'm and when i uh, kind of inspire people to dance with me right uh, there is a, this group called delhi drum circle so i've been an yeah. active part of it you are aware of that so when i would see people coming and dancing with you they would feel that joy uh, you know coming together and moving from their space to your space yes uh, there, there is a connection uh, actually siddharth when you asked that i i want you to know that one day i want to give up all this corporate life i want to become a dance meditation therapist Um, okay. So I have already conducted a few workshops on that, and um, so that is my meditation. That is my medicine. 
and uh, i'm sure it could be medicine for all yeah yeah since you have yeah. already like mentioned this yeah. on this platform so i guess it is going to materialize soon and uh, also um you will agree with me you know, like dance is one creativity where the dancer and the dancer they both become one otherwise all the creativity are you know like different from mm. you you know you know they can yeah. be separated from you but dance cannot be separated the dancer and the dance are one yeah <laughs> and, and and you are liberated of your inhibitions of your uh, your things that hold you back Yes. So I have yes. seen people during my workshops. I have seen people, teachers. I did a workshop for one school. So there was one teacher who started to cry. So it mm. is that joy from within. It's that pain from within. You get a vent to all these emotions. Yes. So. Yeah, it's it's actually beautiful, mm -hmm. and I guess a lot of people. This is, a, mm -hmm. I guess, very simplest way to connect to oneself. You know. and yeah. not complicated right. at all and it opens up like your body your mind and uh, uh, it changes all your aura it makes yeah, you alive it, does. it yes. makes you alive it makes yes. you alive uh you know that i just just want to briefly mention yeah so as delhi drum circle uh, guys uh, we used to do these music sessions with missionary of charity mother teresa's missionary of charity so they have all these this pastic and uh, people who have been left on their own they are uh, special child children uh, they would come and dance with us and initially on the first or second day of our session with them uh, the sisters would say that let them be away from you guys let them not come and join with you you know with you in that close proximity and because they would get violent and all but gradually we started encouraging that we would ask sisters please let them come and dance with us so in the beginning they would scratch they would you know pull my hair but dheere dheere we started that wo connect develop hone laga and we started enjoying each other they would understand they couldn't speak but they would understand this language and sisters told us later that whenever we had a session with them they would sleep peacefully and uh, their health improved um so that was uh, the biggest learning and biggest compliment i ever got seeing those kids i i, I totally agree because uh, hmm. you know only that person can dance who is who decides not to be serious in life and seriousness is a kind of uh, <laughs> is it it brings you you know yeah. it's a it's something which is not really healthy i will say you know because yeah. being serious just brings you down you know you should be vibrant yeah, with life you should not be like you should be active towards life and that yeah, active totally. is like you know dancing is one form of it yeah. it's very beautiful yeah 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 totally <laughs> so yeah i wish so, i'm uh, able to spread <laughs> this so <song>. you will <laughs> i hope it happens soon <laughs> for you <laughs> fingers crossed yeah thank you <laughs> okay so um, i'm going to do your tarot now okay let's see what the message is coming for you okay okay so the first thing it says is Mm -hmm. you were going through some kind of a process in your life and uh, mm -hmm. and some kind of a hardship some kind of a sadhana some something which mm -hmm. which you were going through and now it is uh, coming to an end it is coming to an completion something which you started so it's like uh -huh. becoming a full circle so okay. so in in this process you have gained a lot you have learned a lot you have become more mature in life and because of that now mm -hmm. things the way you see at life the way you see at things you know it will change your perspective will also change for it so this completion okay. is happening this change is happening for you this is the first message for you okay okay and uh, <laughs> second message for you is that mm -hmm. you also deep inside you understand that uh, what you give so shall you reap 
okay so it's yeah. like whatever you give back to the universe the universe gets back to you you know it's like the same vice versa so mm. this is the kind of a lesson which you are learning there might be some moments where you might feel you know that some kind of injustice has been done to you okay mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. because of this deep understanding even if this yeah. happens you will understand that sooner or later you will be rewarded for what you have done because you have not thought wrong for anyone you have not thought you know bad yeah. for anyone because your yeah. intentions are clear because your intentions are pure so that yeah. is something which is going to help you achieve and okay. win the battle yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> okay and third is is your passion and third is like yeah. you are so passionate you have this power with you and this is like so enthusiastic so vibrant so powerful mm-hmm. that whatever you want to achieve mm-hmm. this is actually mm-hmm. in your hand and you know that already i'm just <laughs> you know repeating it i'm just reminding it you know thank for you, you. thank you yeah thank you so because your card which has come is like the knight of wands and that is a very okay, powerful is- passionate card you know Yeah. Oh, okay. So this man okay. is is full of power, and he can uh-huh. achieve anything what he likes. You know, this is for, wow. this is you. This is for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, you've just added that fuel <laughs> to the fire. Probably. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Sudhar. Thank you. Is there any question you want to ask or? Okay, so I have been um, wanting to ask this question. I sure. want to um, start, go on my own, start my own venture. Okay. So that, so is this the right time? Because I'm already. Uh, the time is coming. I've taken that first step. So the time is coming. Uh-huh. What you have thought of, it's a very good idea, yeah. and it's going to be yeah. very good. But not just yet. Okay. Oh. It's a. Okay. It says that uh, prepare the plan and everything, just, but mm-hmm. don't be in a hurry of starting it. Just like that, you are okay. almost ready, but just wait for a yeah. few things to happen. Then you will see that. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Someone is saying so. Finally, you are spilling the beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not spilling any beans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, she she might be. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm talking in code language. <laughs> yeah. So that's so okay. The, I think. Um, yeah. yeah. So the last yeah. message for you is that uh, uh, that if you want to get influence, influence, in, get influence mm-hmm. with something which is bigger than you, something which mm-hmm. you look up to. If you fall in love with someone, fall in love with someone who. is worth falling in love for yeah. so because okay. whoever you love you become like that this is the message which has come for you just remember that <laughs> sure that's a big thing <laughs> that's a deep one <laughs> uh, sure yeah. yes so um, this was the reading for you and i hope you enjoyed it and uh, completely i wish you the best in your life and and i'm sure that project of yours which whatever you're thinking i hope mm-hmm. that also starts happening soon that's also starting manifesting you. soon <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much uh, siddharth for the good wishes and uh, thank you people for joining in and uh, <laughs> for all your thank messages you so and love thank yes. you thank you so much absolute pleasure <laughs> namaste <laughs> namaste <laughs>